Okay, so the sales tax deduction. This is one of those deductions that you maybe never even heard of, mm. but it could make quite a big difference on your tax return if you know how to use it. In this video, we're gonna explain exactly what this deduction is, how much it saved us on our tax return, and how you can potentially benefit from it this year. What's going on y'all? Kyle L and AJ here from Marriage Inside Out, here to share another practical finance tip for you and your spouse. So navigating through taxes can be a challenging process. It's not something that we learn about in school and especially when you get married, there's just another layer of things to consider when you have two people involved, all of the forms and all of the terms, you know, trying to figure out whether you're gonna file jointly or separately or what deductions to choose. It can just, it can be a challenge. So we wanted to share what we've learned to hopefully demystify a few things for you and your spouse. If you're interested in learning more about filing jointly versus filing separately, you can check out the link above and also take a look in the description section. All right, so what exactly is the sales tax deduction? I mean, it's pretty much like it sounds. It's where you can deduct the amount of state and local sales tax you've accumulated from purchases made throughout the year. Yes, you heard me right. This is really a thing. And you might be thinking, okay, you got my attention, tell me more. So in order to take advantage of this, here are a few things you need to do. First, you'll need to itemize your deduction versus taking the standard deduction. Next, you'll need to compare your sales tax to your state local income tax. You'll need to determine which one is higher, your sales tax or your local state income tax. You'll only be able to deduct one or the other. So you have to choose. Now, before you go off and searching through your purse or through old emails or even through the trash can trying to find old receipts, hold on. That's actually not necessary. You don't have to do that. There are a couple ways that you can enter this info on your tax return. The first way is by choosing an estimate of the sales tax that you paid throughout the year. Now, if you're filing your taxes on your own online, whatever platform that you're using will provide an estimate of this for you based on your income as well as what state and county that you live in. Now, the second way is the much longer way and that's taking the time to input every purchase that you've made from the year. I mean, if you are someone who loves to keep a record of every receipt Details. from every purchase, yeah, super detailed. <laughs> Hey, if you want to do that, by all means, at the end of the year, have at it. So how can you determine if the sales tax deduction is right for you? First, you need to consider what state you live in. The sales tax deduction works best in a tax-free state. We've put up a slide now that shares all of the tax-free states in the United States. However, if you live in a state that has higher taxes like New York or California, deducting your state income tax may be a better option for you than using the sales tax. The second thing to consider is if you've made any big purchases throughout the year, this can actually increase the amount of sales tax that you can deduct. So if you have bought a car or a vehicle, that could even include an off-road vehicle, or if you've spent a lot of money uh, making home improvements throughout the year, it can be something that could up the amount now we actually bought a car in 2020 and this deduction helped us out a lot. I mean, it, it really did add to our refund. Other big purchase items could include things like homes or boats or airplanes. Um, yeah, so if you're watching this right now and you own an airplane, um, yeah, shoot us a DM and uh, yeah, let's, let's connect. You know, I'm just playing. <laughs> Not for real though, I'm actually kind of serious. <laughs> And the third, as always, we recommend speaking to a tax professional. They do it for a living for a reason. So if you have any additional questions, be sure to reach out to a local representative. Now, this year we actually ended up owing money on our taxes and we made a video where we explained why this happened and how much we owed and how you can avoid it. But when we factored in the sales tax deduction this year, it actually ended up saving us over $100 on our taxes. So it really came through. Yeah, and we just found out about the sales tax deduction a few years ago. We've been married uh, over six years now, right? Almost Living seven. Living in Florida. Living a in Florida. State. Uh, so we definitely wish we would have known it sooner. We want to pass along the knowledge and hope you can apply as needed. 
Now we mentioned earlier that we were able to take advantage of this deduction back in 2020 when we bought a car. Mm -hmm. And we actually have a cool testimony about that car because we were able to pay it off within six months. Yeah. To see the step-by-step -step approach we use to paying off our car, as well as three tips that you can use when choosing to finance a vehicle, click the video in the top right. Or to check out one of our other videos, click the one right below it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Do the trash can. <laughs> It's actually kind of funny thinking yeah, about people going through the trash. I mean, they game. might. Yeah, they might. <laughs>